This book also talks about the one of the first contraceptives pr produced by activist uh, Murray Stropes, who was actually a eugenicist. Um, it was a insertable cap, like a contraceptive for women, um, and it was coined pro-race. Yeah, you heard that, pro-race. So, um, this is why intersectional issues are a thing, because things aren't all clear-cut for everybody. When we hear women's right to autonomy, it doesn't literally mean all women. So I'm not talking about right now, I'm talking about historically, by the way, but you could think disproportionately this is still happening. Anyways, um, you know, in my opinion, pro-choice is still uh, causing other women to ask for permission. So just remember that when we talk autonomy, it's not always that clear cut. Um, and I will be making videos on this uh, soon, but just like Mary Stropes, Margaret Sanger, the original founder of Planned Parenthood, was also very genocidal in her rhetoric. Um, I think I said that she wasn't a racist or something, but I was working on little information at the time, and I'm currently reading this other book that's really creating the background of this book that I'm currently holding in front of you. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just want you guys to know that even though we all like the idea of bodily autonomy for women being just like, just, it is just out of context, that's all I want to say, okay? And, um, population control is happening or was, I think it's possibly on standby, but aside from the social engineering we have been seeing when Roe was taken out, um, that'll be in the next little video.